So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, we get to the next segment of the night where we see the AEW World Heavyweight Champion, Samoa Joe. He comes walking out there, and he gets a few things to say. He starts bringing up a few things, talking about his match at Revolution against Hangman Adam Page and Swerve Strickland in the three-way match for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. So yeah, Samoa Joe mentions that, uh, that you know, that... Even if, if it was him, he said he wouldn't be facing either guy because, you know, they couldn't beat each other in 30 minutes. So he said, he said you know, neither one of them is worthy of, of being a competition to him. So, yeah, that's what Samoa was saying. But he says due to higher-ups and all that, he got to defend his title in a three-way match now. And he says that it doesn't matter because he's going to still walk out as the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. But then, after he started saying all that, we see Swerve Strickland and Prince Nana come out. And Swerve Strickland grabs the mic and starts talking about uh, that he will pretty much go beat Samoa Joe and hang Madam Page. It doesn't matter if it's a three-way match or what. He says he's going to beat them both and become the new AEW World Heavyweight Champion. He was talking about how, uh, Swerve, how Samoa Joe said that, you know, about worthy competitors and he says he, that he's more worthy enough because he says he beat former world champions he beat legends and all that stuff and he says that he's going to prove that he's the greatest of all time when he wins that match at revolution and yeah that's what swerve strickle was talking about but then hangman and page comes out and he starts complaining his ass off talking about how swerve strickle couldn't beat him in 30 minutes and all that stuff last week and that you know he signed a contract that says uh, you know, Swerve could beat him, uh, he could become the number one contender, he says that it should actually be him versus Samoa Joe one-on-one, but he says that people had to bring Swerve into the match, uh, and he says that even if he would have got five minutes, he wouldn't beat him, but he says that he didn't deserve five minutes because he couldn't beat him at 30, so yeah, that's why Adam Page was talking about both of them starts going at his stuff, talking a lot of crap to each other, getting face to face and all that stuff. And he say, and Adam Page looks at Swerve and he says that he's not even worth one second of his time. So yeah, that's why Adam Page tells Swerve and both of them going at it and all that stuff, talking about how they're going to whoop each other's asses. And then Samoa Joe gets in between them and he says it doesn't matter what both of y'all guys think, you ain't going to be walking over me, you ain't going to be pinning him because I wouldn't be beating both of y'all and retaining my AEW World Boy Championship by whooping both of y'all's asses. So yeah, that's what Samoa Joe says to both of them. Then after that segment, we see the AEW Women's World Champion time was Tony Storm talking. Tony Storm talking, uh, well, pretty much with the movie and stuff, talking about the tattoo and all that stuff. How she going to beat Deanna Peraza. And then we see Deanna Peraza getting interviewed by Renee Paquette, talking about how she's going to snap Tony Storm's arm. So yeah, that's what uh, Deanna Peraza had to say right there, snap her legs. But yeah, pretty good stuff. But then after that, we see the Young Bucks arriving to the arena because up next, the Young Bucks will be taking on top flight up next. So yeah, see you guys later. Until then.